Hey guys, today we're back with another video. It's yet another beautiful Sunday here in Griffin, Indiana with the Homeowner Series on the Xbox. I've been watching YouTube for the last hour, but I think it's time to head on out the door. Over the last week guys, I've been making quite a few changes here which we'll go through really quickly. But if you guys haven't already, please hit the like button. And there is a full mods list linked down below here. Every single mod is listed on over there. But you guys might be asking, why is all the off-road toys outside? And that's because I made a huge change here with the garage. I found a two-car garage that was a little bit smaller that can really only fit two pickup uh, trucks inside. But it goes along with the modern feel here. So I said, why don't we switch? switch it out and that's what I've been doing the last few weeks here we got the new building in place I will say guys I really do like it definitely goes along with the property a little bit better let's get both these garage doors opened on up here I also really do like the doors pretty fancy I will have to say and we do have a pretty nice modern house but look at that guys we don't have much space inside we've uh, both the NMC trucks we have the wife truck there and I was able to get the muscle car inside so today we are going to be building a pole barn in the backyard I'm really really excited Excited for this we'll be able to put the toys there also uh, the uh, camper trailers this thing is pretty expensive and we definitely want this under some cover maybe in a kind of carport or uh, maybe even inside the pole barn here so we'll be doing that here but really quickly let's give uh, Charlie a bowl of food here the other updates guys we did put down I would say about 50 feet of sod expanding the property which I am pretty excited for here you guys have been requesting more Xbox videos that's a plan going forward and it's gonna be a pretty fun one Oh man, guys, look at that. There looks to be a little bit of debris here on the bottom, especially kind of right there where the circle is. I definitely got a need to get this cleaned here, but I will say, guys, keeping a pool up in tip-top shape is a lot of work here, especially with leaves blowing, uh, dust, things like that. I really want the pool to be the best here, but maybe we could get a hot tub, maybe some other things for the back patio. But guys, it is time for us to build a pole barn here. I'm really excited. So the one I went with is completely finished, guys. It is the perfect fit for us here it's a two-door one on one side one on the other side and it does have a little uh, carport as well so I think we'll probably get it get it placed probably right where we're standing we want it kind of on this side of the property uh, probably not too close to the property line here it is guys $40,000 later we have a brand new power barn I will say this thing is pretty sweet we do have a few windows on it we have two garage doors that are I believe around 12 feet tall and I think they're almost 15 feet wide here so I'm pretty excited about about that we do have a little trailer port and I think that we could probably put uh, probably the utility trailers here really want to see if we get the campers inside but let's take a look this is fully insulated which is going to be good because here in Gr uh, Griffin Indiana we do get uh, some really really tough winters pretty cold temperatures and also some snow so this will be pretty neat here so what I'm thinking just uh, looking at this right now I want to put both the campers this way using this door we should be able to fit it lengthwise I think that's going to be a good fit and also uh, probably put the toys here now we do need a lawnmower so I think before we get moving on everything why don't we go pick up a lawnmower uh, uh, the last time we had to mow the property we actually kind of demoed rented one but I think that's the time to go buy one now guys, I'm having a ton of fun recording these Xbox videos. These are so cool here. Definitely pretty cool. And I have so much cool videos to come here. And I can't wait for FS22 on console. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun here. But we'll just take my truck. Let's see. We probably only need uh, these small utility trailer. Let's see where it is. It's right around back here. But we do have quite a few things. I think we might have to look into uh, probably selling a few of the off-road toys. I am thinking probably uh, sell the uh, Gator. We don't really use it too much uh, since we got that new one here. But if if you guys haven't already please hit the like button it really helps out the channel the algorithms all right get in the gate open there we do not have an auto gate so I always have to kind of hop on out there we only really open and close it uh, when we're coming and going uh, towards the early morning and late at night but I will say guys this is a pretty cool truck and I am still waiting on that new uh, kind of f350 to come into game I definitely want to trade out the TOX for that I think that would be a pretty sweet setup but what we're gonna be picking up guys is a John Deere lawn tractor I got a few attachments for it uh, so we could do some yard projects things like that but I'm so excited it's, it's so cool that more and more mods are coming to Xbox and PlayStation and we can have a great time using them here but oh yeah right up front for us I ordered it online and the entire bundle everything together was like five thousand dollars it is expensive for a lawnmower but uh, for everything that we got this is gonna come in really really handy 
Take a look at it, guys. It's a John Deere X748. Here we got the front loader, which is a 640R. We got a bucket. We got the mower deck. This is a 72-inch mower deck. It's a pretty big one. And we also did get the bagger because when uh, fall comes around, we need to clean up all those leaves. Uh, we can't be doing it by hand, and this is going to be so cool. It's so awesome. Uh, we can get this here on console. This thing looks so cool. It just looks amazing here as well. And huge shout-out goes out to all the modders for the hard work making PC mods and for those that are also making their mods available on console. Wow, this fits. Uh, it's going to be a close one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That fits no problem. And uh, I don't think we'll have to even get it strapped on down. Moving everything to the new pole barn is going to be a lot of work here. So I think why don't we get it started right when we get home. I don't think we'll be testing out the lawnmower here. We'll probably just put it in the pole barn for now. But I will say, guys, I really do like the new two-car garage. I feel like the other one that we had, even though it looked like a two-car, was really a four or five car just because of how big it was, which is pretty neat here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the trailer dropped here, get the ramp down first. That way we can get it unloaded. Well, let's get that toy hauler. really want to get started on this. This is going to be a lot of work especially moving and getting all the toys turned on and put them over there in the barn now we're going to be driving on the grass quite a bit here but I don't think we should have a problem we did uh, put the sod in I would say a few months ago and I think it's uh, fine now I did mow it a few times as well but we definitely don't want uh, to be driving on it too too much here but oh yeah I think this is going to fit we definitely don't want to knock off that AC on the top that wouldn't be the best here because we need that to go camping definitely want to go camping again soon let's see oh this is going to fit no problem in here yeah let's see can we get it right uh, they are perfect. A little bit of room on either side to do some maintenance, things like that. But yeah, this is going to work out pretty good. Keeping the campers out of the sun, out of the weather will definitely help us on out here. Definitely going to make it look new here, which is a big thing. And that's the other thing, guys. I really do like taking really good care of mine. I like my car. I always wash it. I always make it uh, look the best here. But especially being outside all the time, it, it puts a lot of wear and tear on it. And uh, it's going to look really good here. So we have a few more trailers to be moved on over that boat. We're going to actually have to put that inside as well. That really needs to go inside, especially during the winter months because those engines uh, need to be kept up in good shape and this trailer I think we'll, we'll try to put these trailers underneath this little uh, carport here I think this will be the way to go here but with the property guys I really want to get horses I want to get chickens uh, we had them at the previous house and I just want to get them again oh we're gonna be able to fit both the utility trailers in here perfect that work, uh, works out good for us we really want the wood deck uh, kind of covered up there that way it doesn't uh, kind of have any, have any problems with needing to get replaced uh, for the wood and I think we're pretty much good with this truck here for now so let's get it parked up but I will say guys this new garage does look pretty sweet here so I'm gonna keep going we're gonna have to put all these inside and actually I do want to get this garage cleared out we could put the muscle car in there that way it frees up some more room there all right, guys, here we have it. Everything's organized. Everything's put away. I will say, guys, this took like a few hours. Musical chairs, uh, switching between all the different seats, the off-road toys, the trucks, getting all the trailers moved around. But I will say, guys, this is pretty awesome. Now, a few things I noticed. We do have room for car lift. I really want to get one since I like to work on my vehicles. I like to do the maintenance. Uh, it's just part of fun here. So you guys can see everything is inside. We have the uh, Tesla quad getting charged up uh, since there's a power out outlet there so let's get this garage door closed and I really do like these it's a pretty fancy uh, building for $40,000 we got both utility trailers out here and the uh, small boat trailers also inside here at the two car garage we just have the wife's truck and mine that's all we're pretty much going to be putting in I will say guys I really do like just how nice and clean it is and I also uh, really really like that it does match our house there so that works out pretty good the other thing was I am going to be listing this John Deere Gator for sale. I'm going to put it up on the marketplace, probably a few different places. Hopefully it sells. I think uh, maybe a farmer, maybe someone that owns a ranch would pick this up here. And you guys can see the muscle car is in here. So we did a lot of work here today. I can't wait for what's to come. I'm going to be looking into getting chickens, horses, things like that and some other huge improvements. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.